would that not work? Okay. Wood is popping off everywhere. I'm so confused. Oh, there's someone here. Shit. Hey, what's going on? When you write Axe in Noop, what does that look in binary? I imagine they are related to C0 control character codes, but maybe they are just generic events. Um, cool. I wonder if you're still here. Uh, but uh, it's a good question. Um, I mean, hopefully you're still here. Let me see if I can find out if you're still here. But um, yeah, so uh, I just um, they're just integers. Um, uh, uh, very like basic. Um, so uh, let's go. Where is it? Uh, network. No. Oh, um, health check network. Whatever. Health check. Right. Yeah. So um, for that, uh, one sec. Let me actually make sure you're still here. I wish I saw that earlier, but um, wanna watch me code? And we're gonna mute this real quick. And. Uh, do we have, let me get to this, and let's go here, and do we actually have any viewers right now? We have, I don't know, what does it say? I'll answer the question regardless, but I just wanna see, okay, cool, there's a watcher, cool, let's see. Okay, um, yeah, so uh, it is, let me just reread your question real quick, and close this. Um, and I need to open some stuff up. Okay, so when you write X in no op, what does that look like in binary? I imagine they are related to C0 control character codes, but maybe they are just generic events. Um, yeah, so uh, they don't, um, I'm not like correlating them to like any like, um, uh, uh, like character codes or anything like that. Like, it's not like the, I know like uh, ASCII or whatever has like different like, invisible character codes for things like like ACK and stuff like that. Um, I just chose um, <clears throat> just arbitrary uh, integer, unsigned uh, one byte integers or eight bit integers. Um, and so uh, just kind of reasoned it out and was like sin, like that would be one, like it's the first request that goes, ACK is two, this is the second one. And then I was just gonna kind of go up uh, in numbers as I add different operations as I go. Uh, but I haven't really decided if um, I'm gonna have a, u a single um, packet structure or whether like I'll have a different protocol for like say this health health check um, versus um, say like uh, I don't know whatever I'm gonna do in the future like for the network discovery and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, I, that's a good question though. Um, it is just a single byte, uh, basically in the um, in uh, unsigned format, which could easily be converted to a character um, just by the casting. Um, but yeah, thanks for the question. Um, cool. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Network. I forget what I was doing. I was doing the tests right, and they. It did, did it pass? That's just warnings, I think. No, it didn't pass, which is what I wanted, right? Um, called option on a non-value. Cool, yeah, so uh, so I verified that uh, these are actually like kind of covering what I wanted to cover because if these aren't found, uh, like we triggered here, um, then it panics and, and triggers this test failure, so that's good. Confirm that. Um, no, I'll just leave it and just comment it out. Uh, it doesn't do any harm for now. Um, cool. Uh, so now we have our handler map. Um, and uh, we will use this um, for handling stuff. So let's go. Um, we have handle message here, right? So. Uh, the message, uh, the nice thing about the way we structured this is like now at this point the message is all deserialized and in like an actual model we can use um, and we don't have to worry about any of that anymore, we just have to worry about operating on it. Um, so, <clears throat> so the idea here is we'll do, um, is it like choose or something? Uh, switch? Nah, we'll do, um, so what we're gonna do is just do um, let uh, we're 
gonna get the handler function that we actually want. So, um, and actually we're going to, uh, you know what, I think, um, in the constructor, right, we can, um, we can uh, have this uh, map already in there and initialize it once, hopefully, I hope I can do that. So, um, we'll do the health check handler map as a instance property or variable, whatever it's called. Um, health check handler map. Um, and it'll be a health check, uh, or it'll be a map of, uh, or hash map of uh, U8 and a function taking in a message of message broker message thing. Um, and then there we go. Uh, no, get rid of that. Uh, get that, no comma, okay. So now we're gonna have that as an instance variable and we're gonna go and we're gonna be like um, health check instance map equal, uh, is it, I forget the notation, but uh, get this and it looks like it's gonna accept that. Still learning, so, um, so yeah. Um, so let's go, uh, got that, uh, run self, uh, okay, so now we're in here. Um, now we don't really need this handle method message thing, but we'll do it anyway. So we'll get the uh, handler function, or uh, maybe we'll just abbreviate to fun, um, and then it'll be um, self dot handler map health check handler map dot get uh, message dot. I don't know if this will work the way I'm doing it right now either, but payload dot, uh, header dot, yeah, just header. Um, and this will have to be passed by reference. And then uh, expect um, handler method to be found from uh, message payload up header. Cool, so now we, like, hopefully, so let me make this a little cleaner. Uh, there we go. Um, so now we have the function. Uh, hopefully, uh, if the opcode is cracked or whatever, if it's not, it'll panic, um, which I think is not good. I think I need to handle that because I think what happens if you have unhandled panics is it'll shut down, basically, the thread. Um, like, it'll kill this thread. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. It's um, <laughs> still new, so. Um, would, yeah, but would uh, have to add error handling. But let's just leave it for now. Um, and then we'll just call um, handle function. Um, and then we'll do that and we'll pass in the message. And that's it. Um, that should be that. So, like, that's really simple. Like, it doesn't have to be its own method, it could just be straight in line. We'll do self dot handle, and I might even just make it, um, you know. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not doing that shit. I'm just gonna go in here. And, well, no, I'm gonna have to do it anyway. But, uh, I don't know. Let's just copy and paste. See if it lets me do this. I'll do next message and next message. So it works. So I can reference self here. Wait, what was different that... Why does this not work, but... Value used after... So it's, it's moved here. Is it because... I don't know, whatever. So that's the kind of stuff that like really bothers me because I just don't know why that happens, but uh... Um, cool. Um, so yeah, I've got that, uh, let handler handle. And um, we'll go down and then we'll just see receiver handle dot uh, join, right? Uh, and I, I think I have to expect um, and receive, uh, it says receiver handle joined success. Okay, um, that's that. Uh, got 
back up uh, okay so now oh shoot you know what huh. I need the channel oh yeah I need the channel to to write to uh, the um, I need the broker channel to be available in here um, so what's the best way of doing that like I'm wondering if I should just pass it in um, okay yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably create a new model and that model will contain the message and then all the other necessary and potentially optional um, parameters that are required um, damn I don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, it's just, um, hmm. okay, okay. I was just all right. Let's just do let's create a struct. Um, op code. Let's see. Op code handler uh, request or uh, or what should I name it? params I guess uh, that works um, and it's going to contain the message because we know we need that it's going to contain um, it's going to contain a forwarder channel uh, or not channel um, sender I think so um Sender, 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 and it's gonna be, um, and it's gonna contain a, it's gonna be a health broker message, right? I guess unless we want to define a new type of message, but for now let's just do this. Um, okay, so we're gonna then modify all of this to be the opcode handler params. Gonna replicate that for everything else. And go down here, do this. Go here, go here, go there. Damn, I messed up. Perhaps. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think that, I mean, I guess I can run this and see if it still compiles. I forget where I'm at. Nope, it's not going to work because this needs the properties. Check handle map. Okay, I got to change this to that. Uh, go like that. Should be good. Handler function next message. Mm. Okay. Um, and okay. So we have the broker sender. Got it. Okay. So now we can do uh, let um, next. No, we already have next message. Um, handler props equals. Uh, what did we name it? Opcode handler params. Um, it's going to have the message and it's going to have the uh, the sender. Um, and it's going to have in the sender, it's going to be the self dot network broker sender. And we can't do that. Dot clone, maybe. Yes, cool, that might work. And then uh, we're gonna do handler props, message is next message. And this will be this. Cool, and then we're gonna add that to fix the syntax. Um, okay, and that might work. And then in the handlers themselves, 
Uh, it should be. We're gonna just comment this out for now. Let's go. Okay, and in these, uh, the sin, right? Well, um, we will uh, do what we did basically in the. What is it? Health. Uh, the health trackers of the net worth. Just check. Um, nope, not that. Health check, network work, not that. Network handler, not that. Network. Okay, so what do we do? We, um, did I do it? Clean or somewhere else? Category health check back off. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, so we're going to, can we just copy this, oh well, we already have that, go here, and we're just going to do this, no, let me just copy all of this and then clean it up after, okay, let's go here, and we're going to do, let's meet. oh yeah so here we'll do params dot message dot payload dot clone is that what we want what was it before let me go back um, Yeah, we're gonna do prams dot clone, right? And then uh, this will be okay. Response object makes sense. We'll do response object. Um, probably comment it out actually. Um, we don't need to check this because before we even get here, we already checked it. We don't need any of this because it's not what we're handling. Um, remove that, and then uh, health check packet size zero for all response objects that serialize. Um, actually, we don't need any of this, do we? We just need to go and do um, response object dot. Wait, what? Why is it? Oh, okay. Response object dot header. Oh, this isn't right. This uh, not right. Response on uh, here. Response object dot. Why is it not? Oh, because this doesn't have the client method, right? So I gotta put that on there. So we're gonna do the derive. Uh, let's see. So dun, dun, derive derive clone. Uh, so. Dot. There we go. So dot message dot halo dot header equals health check opcode. Uh, and then we, I think, just uh, get rid of that. And when we just call params dot. Oh, wait, what is params opcode? A sender uh, send. We're going to do response object dot clone, right? Or no? Is it clone? Hmm, why isn't this working? Is it uh, by reference? I need to clone here. Guess not, so we won't clone if we don't need to. Dot expect um, health checks and response and to message broker. 
Um, there we go, and that should be it, I guess. Um, this will be, I would just, for these, just print line to do implement. Okay, and we'll do the same thing here to do implement. This. Um, got it. Okay. So looking good, looking good. Go in there, remove some of this other code. Get there, get there, get there. Okay. Um, Alright, let's try and build and see what happens. It always sucks when you write a lot of code and then, like, everything's broken everywhere and then takes you forever to figure out what went wrong. Um, I don't know what happened. Where'd the thing go? It's info problems. Project errors. Okay, let's just run it, I guess. Cool. Uh, so it compiled, I guess, and ran the test. That's good. Um, cool. I wonder, uh, I don't know, like, so I'm new to testing this, and I'm wondering about mocking how that works. Um, because all, like, it was pretty simple, but um, I would just have to be able to mock the receiver and sender, I guess. Okay. Okay, um, so cool. Uh, where are we? I think like we're um, we're at the point where I can actually kind of like wire this up and test it out. So let's um, figure out how to do that. Um, let's go to main, and what we'll do is we'll again we're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing all day. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna go and we're gonna be like. Um, main health check broker example and we're gonna go let me just copy all this actually and just uh, oops, go here go up just rename it to main got it from main 